Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Back today with another video. I'm doing an alcohol ink um, review actually for you today. So Unicone Art was nice enough to send me some products to um, try and review for them. So I have a set of their um, resin here and some of their alcohol inks. So I'm gonna do two different videos because um, some people don't wanna sit through a resin video. I could use the alcohol inks in the resin, but I'm going to use them um, just by themselves. So this looks like a nice large set. It's a set of 12 different colors. Um, I think I'm going to do a um, color chart for you so we can see how the inks perform on a piece of narrow paper. Um, this uh, is the resin. I've never used this resin before, so I'm kind of excited to try it. But again, I'll do that in another video. They sent me a few different mica powders to try. I have used their mica powders in the past. Love them. Um, they sent me this one. This is a crushed crystal. Um, it is more glittery. And they're nice big four ounce. Um, nice. Or actually, this is two ounces. But big, big containers. Um, so they're not your normal little, small little mica powders that we see. Um, so this is the crushed crystal. Um, use it a little sparingly if you do decide to use it because it does spread out in, into the resin. Um, and then they sent me another one. They sent me a blue. I think it's called peacock blue. And then they sent me some mica flakes. So yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I am going to be doing something special in the end. So if you don't want to sit through the color chart of the inks, just fast forward to the end and I have some really cool um, oil and vinegar bottles that I that I um, put the inks on and they came out beautiful all right so I opened the box and there's a color list and has all the safety and warning um, directions and all that so our website on here so yeah this is good um, so we have Now it says, okay, so they're, they're numbered. So 457B, and this is cobalt. Then they have 451, and this is called cerulean. Cerulean. We have this one. This is 438B, and this is aqua. And then we have orchid. And then we have hunter green. And grass. And then I have tropical. That's probably going to be pretty. All right, and then I have Sunshine, very pretty. Heat Wave, ooh, it's a red. Then I have Cherry. And then we have Raspberry. And last one is a taffy, pinky color. All right, so let's do a color chart. So when I get new inks, I like to do make a color chart. So I get a piece, usually I get a piece of Nara, um, or I don't know what I have here. I, I might have, let me see what I have. Oh, no, that's not good. Hold on. Hold on one second. All right, so I have my Nara paper, and this is just a, um, I think this is just, oh, this is 12 by 9. Okay, so we're going to use that for these colors right and what I usually do is I put a little bit down on each one and then I label it so I have all my colors that I'll show you here here's my color charts so you have all my different colors so that way you know what it looks like and what colors like oh maybe that these two will look good together or this one and this one you can kind of compare okay so I wrote the name of the cobalt blue we're going to do cobalt blue first um, and I just put them all out of order because my son came in and, oh, well, it doesn't matter what order they're in, right? So we're going to do the cobalt blue. Let me put my gloves on. So I hope everybody's doing well out there. And if you are not already, please subscribe and share and like and all that stuff. Um, I do a lot of different things on my channel. I do fluid art. All, all fluid art. I do resin. 
alcohol inks, and pouring. So a little bit of something for everyone. All right, so we're going to put this ink down. I have my alcohol. I don't usually, when I make these, I don't use alcohol. So and I just use my little blower. And this is from, this is Ranger Tim Holtz blower. Okay. So we'll just put a drop. And blow. Pretty color. Now, if you want it to, you could put a little alcohol and see how it reacts. I usually don't, but you can at least see how they spread, especially on different substrates. This is narrow paper. It's one of my favorites. So it looks good. All right, so that's the cobalt blue. Put that aside. And then we have the cerulean. And this is, oh, I did totally wrong. This was the cobalt blue. Oh my gosh. This was the cerulean. So, cerulean. Okay. So this is the 457. This is the cobalt. Oh, I'm already messing this up. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ooh, that was too much. But oh, pretty color. All right, like that one. That is pretty, and I can tell that when you start to fade it out, it's gonna bring out like purpley. See up here already. Yep. Inks are so interesting, I think. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the aqua. And this is 438. These are nice because they have the c color on the top and they, so that way you don't miss, you don't put the wrong cap on the wrong one and then you contaminate your ink. Add a little alcohol to that. Pretty. These two will look good together, I think. All right. What's next? Orchid. Uh, 438. 71 green I always love um, purple and green together oh this one's pretty I could tell this one's going to make nice lines Oh yeah. All right. Like the green a lot. Might be a green and purple one coming your way. All right. So this was Hunter. Oh God. Three seventy one. Okay. 
Love that one. Love that one. All right. Next is grass, 314. 314 is grass. Lighter green, yellow, lime green. Okay, pretty. Tropical, pretty pretty, 341. Activating my all right, pretty. This one is one of my favorites so far. All right, sunshine. And this is sunshine 023. This I think this is gonna be like an orangey yellow. Ooh. These two would look pretty together. All right. So this was, what did I say, Tropical? 341. And this was Sunshine 023. Okay. All right, moving right along here. So next we'll do Heat Wave. And that was 185 Heat Wave. This is going to be like an orangey red, I think. Pretty colors, very vi vibrant. Oh, this one I like too. Look at that. Like it. Heat wave. 185. Is that what I said? Yeah. Okay. And then we have 198. And this is cherry. Typical red. Pinky red. Oh no. Red red. Cherry red. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. Like that one. Cherry 198. All right. And next is Raspberry 135. Almost done. That's pretty. This looks like the the um what's it called? Senorita by Pinata. Almost like a fluorescent pink. Oh, I like that. Oh, and it brings out some purples when you add the alcohol. Alright, like this one. Raspberry 
All right, and last but not least is Taffy from your lighter pink. Like that one when you add the Let's see what happens when I film this. Alright. So there's my colors. Um so far I like them. I think they're they look they blend out really nice. Um let's put some heat on them and see how they work and how they do combining a couple colors okay be right back all right so let's put some colors down i got my dryer it's my revlon stick hair dryer um got this on amazon um i'll put the, my link i always put all the products i use i always have links to them in the description this guy in. Right. Okay, so we have that. And the colors I'm going to use, because I really like the green, I'm going to use the Hunter. And I'm going to use the Sunshine Yellow, I think. I'll try those two first. And then we will see if I want to add more. Okay, so I have these um, oil and vinegar bottles um, that I got at, where did I get these? Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, they're just white ceramic, 
So I'm going to do at least one of them for you right now. We'll use the cobalt blue and the aqua. And I'm going to use some pinata brass on these. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just prep my bottle. All I do is wipe it down with alcohol. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start and, uh, yeah, play some music for you and just watch and, um, you know, relax and have some fun with me. All right. So here we go.
break. So I'm back and I did the second one. All right, and they look, I think they look fantastic. Um, I'm really happy with them. I love the pinata brass in any alcohol ink. It always adds something special to them. Um, so these will make like a great gift set or you, can, you know, one, you can just buy one or whatever. Um, I'll probably price them as a set only because they look so nice together. Um, so you need to seal these. And how I seal my inks is I use the Camar, it's Krylon Camar varnish. And I'll do two light coats, two or three light coats of this. And then I will wait, let that dry. And I usually wait a like a day, good day um, after I do this one. And then I'll do this one. And I'll do a couple light coats of this. Now, it doesn't matter if you do semi-gloss, gloss, or matte finish, whatever your preference is, um, you can do that. So I finish all my alcohol inks this way. Um, I do resin sometimes, and I have a video, and I'll post that here. Um, but I just want to say that, and I want to tell you a little story real quick. I had a piece that I do have a video on that I was making for myself, and it's an 18 by 24 inch alcohol ink. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces, and I mounted it to a big piece of cradle wood, resined it, it was beautiful, hung it in my home and now this is probably at least eight months ago at least maybe a year and one day I'm walking by and I, I just noticed that there's like a little I see a little like reflection I'm like what is that and I kept looking there's like bubbles um so it's almost like it's coming up from the cradle wood board underneath the resin I just think that is so strange I've done it before I've never had this happen um, it's not like it was in a place where the heat is irregular or it's cold or too hot or anything like that. So I don't know what the deal is, but it is making me very weary about um, doing that again and try and selling them because I would I would feel horrible if someone bought a piece and that happened. So I think from now on, um, if I resin, I'm going to be resining the, the Da Vinci Pro panels that I have a video here. I'll post that and um, you can see that. They are wonderful. It saves you a step. You don't have to put the paper onto the cradle wood. It saves you a big step. If you ask me, it's a pain in the butt step. Um, and I'm just going to, from now on, um, if I do want to... Um, attach these to cradle wood, I'm not going to resin them. I'm just going to varnish them. And I've done that in the, um, since this has happened. Um, I did try to re, um, resin the piece and it's a little bit better, but it's not perfect. Um, and you know what you, you know, somebody who didn't know probably wouldn't even notice it, but I'm like, it bothers me. So, um, I wouldn't want to sell something like that and have that happen. That would just not be right. So that's my rant for today. So just be very careful if you do decide to do that. Um, Cause over time it can maybe release. There might be in a little air pocket. I don't know, especially on something that large. That's probably what happened, but it just makes me a little scared. Awesome products, um, go check them out. They had a sale going on on their inks. Again, here's the box of inks you get. Well, thanks for joining me, and I thank Unicone Art for uh, sending me these great products to try out. All right, everyone, have a great day, and um, like and subscribe if you can. Bye-bye.